I recently reviewed the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 and found that at the price point, this is actually a very respectable AMD gaming laptop. It's got a Ryzen 5 5600H, an RTX 3050 Ti. However, despite its actual good price to performance, I felt like it had more to give. And so I did some investigating on how I could potentially unlock the most performance out of this laptop for the cheapest amount of money possible. So I'm not gonna upgrade it at all besides one little thing. So not increasing the CPU or increasing the graphics card, but what can be done with what's already on hand. So I found a fix that will actually allow us to get 10% better FPS for free with no hardware upgrades necessary. And then if you're willing to spend $30, you can get actually up to 90% better FPS on the Ryzen 5 5600H. Especially when you combine the two, then this laptop gets significantly better. And I honestly can't believe that they're selling it at the price point that they're selling it at. So you can check out the link in the video description. We'll have an affiliate link for all of the things that you need in order to upgrade this laptop. My friends, 2023 has been an interesting year of me getting healthy because I was experiencing some health problems towards the end of last year and I've had to completely change my diet. So I've been really invested in a whole lot of stuff that's been going on, including making sure that all of the vitamins and nutrients I'm supposed to be getting are in good order, which is where today's video sponsor, Let's Get Checked, gets involved because they're the worldwide leader in at-home health tests that puts you in control of your health care. And Let's Get Checked allows me to have the freedom to understand what's going on inside my body without having to go to a doctor first. You don't have to leave your home. You don't have to go to a lab to get your blood drawn. It's very convenient. You order a testing kit that's gonna be delivered to you in discreet packaging. And then once your sample goes to the laboratory, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five days. It was very easy for me to get it done myself. I even did it live on our Twitch stream, not showing the, the actual blood portion of it, but it really wasn't that difficult for me to do for me to send it off and to get my results, which the laboratories that Let's Get Check partners with are CLIA approved and CAP accredited, which are the highest ranking levels of accreditation. And we got all of the details back of my blood work and it turns out that I actually need to decrease my vitamin regimen because I was high in nearly everything that they tested me for. But this is great information for me to help understand what's going on with my body, understanding that, yeah, maybe I am taking too many supplements at this point, need to scale it down, but you don't have to interpret the results yourself because you'll have the option for a virtual consultation to discuss your results and let's get checked clinical team can prescribe medications that can be sent to the pharmacy of your choice. So get easy to understand actionable health insights in two to five days from the comfort of your home by going to trylgc.com forward slash UFD and get 20% off your test using code UFD, which is going to be linked in my video description. Again, that's trylgc.com forward slash UFD and use code UFD to save 25% off of your test. It helps me to understand what's going on in my body. Hopefully it can help you understand what's going on in your body. Body. And again, big thanks to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring today's video. But let's go ahead and start with number one, which is the fact that on AMD's new mobile CPUs, they have integrated graphics. And that means that you need to take some of the RAM that's part of the laptop and dedicate it to that integrated GPU. But you don't need a whole lot of dedicated memory, especially when you have a dedicated graphics card like the RTX 3050 Ti that's on this laptop. By default, this laptop and other budget gaming laptops end up allocating two whole gigabytes of memory to the integrated GPU, which is great if that's your only option. If you don't have an RTX 3050, a GTX 1650, and a laptop like this, then absolutely you might want to keep it at the highest end of two gigabytes. But for the situation that we're in, it's actually just taking away memory, especially when the default configuration, the cheapest price point on this, is only eight gigabytes. So when you have two two gigabytes removed, you're sitting at six gigabytes for this laptop, which is not enough for gaming. Thankfully, there's a very easy fix to go ahead and change that. When you go into the BIOS by holding either, it depends on the laptop you're using, pressing the delete key, the F2 key, or the F10 key, I just try them all at the same time, depending on what I'm working on, you'll get into the BIOS. And then you need to go to the setting, at least in the Lenovo BIOS, said UMA video decoding. And you can see right there, it's set to two gigabytes. You just click on that, and you can either set it to one gigabyte 
gigabyte or 512 megs. And considering we don't need a whole lot of memory dedicated to the integrated GPU because we have the 3050 Ti, I set it to the lowest possible 512 megs. And that ended up making a very significant performance increase. So let's take a look at a few games. In CSGO, we managed to get 10% faster FPS. We went from 131 all the way up to 145 FPS average, just by switching this one setting in the BIOS with no performance penalty, mind you. The integrated GPU is not working at all, so it not having extra memory just means there's more memory to go towards the video games. And then in AAA titles like Cyberpunk, we managed to get an increase of 10.8 FPS, going from 42 to 47. In God of War, we managed a 7.7% increase, going from 39 all the way up to 42. And in Fortnite, we managed to increase the FPS by by about 7% going from 103 all the way up to 110. Now, Spider-Man Remastered still did not like this laptop. Not only having eight gigabytes of RAM, even with two more added in, it's still not good. It only added 0.1 FPS, and that's probably margin of error, so you wouldn't consider that a performance upgrade. So for free though, in many games, we got a performance upgrade. In some, it didn't matter at all, which is totally fine, but it's something that you can do on your AMD gaming laptop to just get extra FPS for no added cost. But now let's talk about the added cost and a little bit of danger that goes into the next upgrade, which then gives you significant performance improvement. And that is going to be making sure that you're in dual channel RAM and you have at least 16 gigabytes because a lot of these games are taking anywhere from eight to 12 gigabytes to even run at 1080p medium settings. And thankfully, this laptop has an upgradable RAM slot, which makes it very easy. So you just have to unscrew the bottom chassis, get to the RAM, and then find some RAM that you can upgrade it with. This is $28 at Best Buy. This is PNY, eight gigabytes, 3,200 megahertz, but it unlocked a ton of extra performance. But what it did also do was reset the integrated GPU's dedicated RAM amount back to two gigabytes. So I had to make sure to go back into the BIOS to set it to 512 megs, but the performance increase from going from eight to 16 gigs, but then also not just running on one stick, but two, because AMD really loves dual channel RAM, was huge. So in a game like CSGO, we managed to go from 131 FPS before changing anything. Again, that's what you buy this laptop at. That's what it gives you out of the factory. We went up to 241 FPS. That was an increase of 84%. In a game like Cyberpunk, we went from 42 FPS all the way up to 63 FPS. You run this at an average of 60 FPS now, which is a 48% improvement, but a huge quality of life upgrade. In God of War, we went from 38.9 all the way up to 68, which was roughly a 75% increase. But one of the things to note is the 0.1% lows here, which means the 0.1% of the lowest frames. How low is this video game dipping to? With the RAM upgrade is 41.1 FPS, which is higher than the average. So you're actually, your lowest frame rate is higher than your average when you do these changes for only 28 bucks. In Spider-Man, it's a very similar story. We went from 34 FPS all the way up to 63. So you're getting over 60 FPS now, adding the extra RAM, going to dual channel, finally made a difference in Spider-Man. And again, the 0.1% lows of 34.5 is higher than the average was out of the factory. And then in Fortnite, again, another large increase, going from 103 FPS all the way up to 196.5, which was an improvement of 90%. This is honestly incredible performance upgrades for what is very little extra money. And I mentioned that in my review of the IdeaPad Gaming 3, that upgrading the RAM likely would yield significant benefit. I think I neglected just how serious extra performance you can get by going to dual channel on AMD. It's absolutely huge. It, If your laptop can allow for it, it absolutely should be on your immediate upgrade list if you have a budget AMD gaming laptop that only shipped with one stick of RAM. Additionally, setting the dedicated RAM amount on the integrated GPU to the lowest that it'll go, provided that you're not using that integrated GPU for very many heavy video encoding tasks, you're going to get 
also an up to 10% performance boost by just doing that alone, which is pretty crazy to think about. So it's kind of a bummer that Lenovo doesn't ship it out of the factory like that. Several other laptops that I've worked with haven't done that either, especially when it comes to AMD's Ryzen midline, mid-range CPUs. These tend to get overlooked when it comes to are they shipping out with max optimizations? Typically not, and you can do it at home and get that free FPS. Let me know if there's any other tweaks or adjustments that you make to your laptops to help them run as fast as they possibly can. And with that being said, I'll catch you back here for the next video, friends. Cheers.